You have had your own journey, I know, in yes. life, and that has led you to write this book. Yes. Give us a little bit of uh, info about what happened to you. Well, I was born with a birth defect, which was a very concave chest. This was uh, pretty severe. So I didn't look like the other kids. It didn't harm me health-wise. It just looked funny. And so I went around thinking I was damaged goods, that I wasn't adequate as a person. And so I became introverted, extremely shy. And I, I just didn't communicate with people well. And uh, a few years later, I decided there's got to be a way out of this. You know, I've, I've got to be able to associate with people. I've got to somehow fix this. And so what I decided to do was get into broadcasting because I had seen some of my heroes and I thought, well, if you're famous, everybody will like you. <laughs> so you don't have to be perfect, you know. So uh, my first job was in Altus, Oklahoma at a little radio station in high school. And it was almost like a drug. Uh, one day, nobody in school knew who I was. The next day, I was on the air, and everybody wanted to be my friend. And, and so that fed me for several years. But there was always this hole uh, inside me uh, that was unfulfilled. And I got all the way up to ABC News working for Network, and I said, something's not right. And that's where I went on a spiritual journey. I took some self-help uh, classes, books, that sort of thing. And um, I decided, let me write a book about my success and how I change things. You can be successful, but that's not necessarily the answer to fixing what's inside you.